And we're back <laughs> with some guys at Day in Miami here podcast. Ready? Eddie, how are you, bud? Good, baby. Good to go. I saw Kiko on the weekend, and we passed by this wonderful spot that's a longtime friend of his. So we have He was JP. on the list, right? He was on, he was the, on the list. On, on Burger's yeah. list, Beast he, list. He was a uh, Burger Beast top 25 list, which was, Appreciate you, Burger Beast. was inclined us to go over there, too. This is my boy, JP, from Between Two Buns. Introduce yourself, kid. So I'm JP. I'm from Between Two Buns. Uh, we're located on 120 or the 129 by the first on the Taco Bell. Everybody talks game on this guy's uh, burgers. We tried them. They were fire. They were fire. So fire, but the social fire. media and the follow is pretty funny. But you know what? Besides the burgers, he had a, what was it? Um, the La queso frito? No, the potatoes, potato sticks with the, oh, like with the, 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 the loaded fries. The loaded with fries. With the fried chicken. Bro, yeah, that one got you. Well, I, he had to pull it away from me. He goes, oh. bro, stop did you, uh, did you bring the glasses? I didn't. Oh. I didn't. I didn't. That just stays in the yeah, future. Right there. You know, you're going to find out about the glasses because when they, when they follow you, because they're going to start following Absolutely. you. If they don't already, homie's got some pretty funny social yeah. media. He jumps <laughs> on that uh, a green screen with his giant burgers in the background, and then he's wearing these glasses. Tell us about these glasses. So these glasses came on because it was just a heat, man. I'm getting old in the kitchen. I've been doing this Oh, the homie's like 30-something. Yeah. I've been doing this 15 years, and it's, I guess it's the heat. So I just put them on, and the it's swag game came time, on. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's game time, right? As soon as I put them glasses I like on. You're... It's, That's like it's your like, alter ego? Absolutely. I turn like to Superman. He did it. He did it for us oh, yeah. when we visited. I he like put it. him on. It's a good style. It's a cool style. Yeah. Quick well, question. This, well, one second before you ask this yeah, question. Yeah, go ahead. This guy ate two freaking burgers, though. He did. I saw that. Bro. I, I'm, and they're, I'm, they're pretty massive. He's, look, look. He's been working on it. He got pissed. I see that. Fat. I, see, I see that. I'm a big, I'm a big guy. I'm not a... Like a, I'm not anymore like a like a like a mount eater, you know what I'm saying? But he, how did, well, you ate, massive. Like, you did the you, load, like, you did the queso frito, the load of fries. Four, it was four burgers. patties, massive. And I, and, I, and I finished the burger at home. Yes, I finished the burger. I'm home. telling you, man. I'm telling you. And, and his wife threw it down it too. That shit was delicious. crazy. That's awesome. It was fucking Love delicious. It. Love to hear. What do you, what do you got there on your little papelito, brother? Huh? You always got your papelito. Yeah, what I got, you got my papelito here. You know, um, <laughs> again, the first thing for people who don't know you, you know, who is JP? A little bit about your background. Why did you start in the kitchen? And then from there, why did you start between two buns? All right. So um, I've been in the kitchen 15 years. Uh, my parents are from Ecuador. I was born and raised in New York. All right. uh, but I came here when I was one. So I'm a Miami boy. For sure. Um, what kind of inspired me in the kitchen was my mom since I was little. Uh, her cooking in the kitchen, you know, making me taste things. And that's what really got me into the kitchen. When I progressed, when I got older, um, I guess it was just the, the chaos, the control chaos for me was... You like well, to be in the fire. Absolutely. I, I can't be in the office sitting down. I got to be up oh. and cooking and doing stuff like that. So that's what really got me when I started cooking in the kitchen. Wow. So how did you start? Like you said, okay, I'm going to start a food truck. We're going to call it between two buns. Like take me Yeah, why burgers? Like well, burgers. So Ecuadorians I don't know anything about burgers. Yeah. Right? yeah. Is that they don't. I'm just, I'm just they kidding. They don't. They don't. They don't. I've never been to Ecuador, but I no, they, they don't. They I got don't. a couple I, Ecuadorian friends yeah. and the food is fire. Yeah. Their food is good, but I don't think they don't know anything about burgers. Well, I'm different now. Yeah, that's um, right. You're the hybrid. So basically, how I started between two buns, I, I came up with a bunch of names, and that one just locked in. And for me, anything between two buns is delicious. Yeah. A meatball sandwich, a peanut butter jelly sandwich, anything you put between two buns. Um, so besides that, so when I did that, I was doing gourmet sandwiches. And funny story is I, I would, my first year open, I was like, people would come by, hey, what kind of burgers do you do? Because my logo looks like a burger. Yeah. But what do you mean gourmet sandwiches? Like, what kind of sandwiches? So I would do, like, chopped cheese. I did, like, a fritanga sandwich. Oh, so I was mix. doing yeah, I was doing mixed sandwiches, but it was to me sandwiches more like a lunch thing, right? Yeah. True. So I would I would do it, and people would pass by. What kind of burgers are you do? And I'm like, oh, I don't do burgers. Zoom, they'll leave, and I'm like, yeah, I gotta give what people want, you know. And then I just switched it to a, I went home, I turned on my Windows 98, and I <laughs> <laughs> and I just went, you know, lettuce, tomato, pickles, my doodles, double patty, and I came over with a sauce. Had a couple of friends come over, they loved it. They said, don't change a damn thing. Put it on the menu, For and sure. that Friday, it, you know, it zoomed up. All right, so I'm not as big of a foodie as Kiko or even Burger Beast, okay? But for me personally, like the average person, I felt like Smash Burgers has taken off in the city. Absolutely. Yeah. All right? Absolutely. Um, tell me why you decided to do a Smash Burger, and apart from you, obviously you have your own craft. Who are another, like, three Smash Burger locations you see in the city that, like, you admire or you think are doing a good job of how they're going about it? Or got a good burger, right? Man, right now, Ted's Burgers is, you know, is number one Ted. for me. Yeah, he's, okay. he's killing the game. Um, I got expired by him. And on and where I'm at, the Kendall location, we didn't have Smash Burgers. So I was like, let me just get into that room of Smash Burgers. Um, everybody was doing eight-ounce eight burgers. And I just I went into the Smash Burger game. And then I was like, 
That's where it's at. Let's do it. Yeah, you got your own little version too. You yeah, it's, it's, it's too. not you know it's not your traditional Oklahoma smash burger. Mm-hmm. They use the smash right, burger right. sauce, fr- um, fried onions or onions mm-hmm. and sauces. I had the lettuce, the tomato, the pickles, the madura because we are in Miami. Everybody loves madura, yeah. so I smashed the madura in there with the double patty. But do you have do you know like in your studying uh, of the smash burger? Do you know like the history of the smash burger? Or? Not too much. You know, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna say here, I know right. all about uh, smash burgers, but. I know there's a few people who are doing smash burgers now. Um, I just got in the room and I just went. I was like, "Let me do it." When Burger Beast went to eat your burger, did he lettuce and tomato? Absolutely not. He doesn't like lettuce and tomato. <laughs> what did he yeah. tell you? And he said, "Don't put lettuce and tomato because I walk out." But I, <laughs> I heard that you served him. <laughs> I did. The second time he went there, I I put, oh. I put a joke on him and I and I put lettuce and tomato. And and he freaked out. And he almost did. He almost God, did. He's such a dick. Yeah, he, he is one of the most knowledgeable people. He's, he's, he's the world. nicest yeah. asshole. Yeah, yeah. He's super super nice. Yeah. <laughs> did you tell him that Kiko ripped his sticker off your window? No, I didn't tell him that. Oh, okay. No, no, it's a shitty sticker. It's a shitty sticker. I'm not gonna lie. So going back to it. So right now, besides between two buns, smash burger. Uh, who would be your next top three, like, you know, that you feel are doing a good job in the community of, like, representing the Smash Burger? Um, Apocalypse hasn't done the Smash Burgers, but he's, I think he's, he's going to yeah, get into Smash Burgers. So that's one right there. Like I said, Ted Burgers. But wait, how can you have someone do be number one if they haven't done it yet? Uh, he's, that's because he's your guy. boy, bro. No, no, no. <laughs> he's your Shout boy. out to Jeff. He, he is my boy, man, but he's, he's no, doing man. good things. He's, he's got that Hiffy burger. This yeah, time. man. That no, 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 but a little bit thicker smash. than a like, smash. I've heard this guy go crazy about yeah. Skinny Louis. I haven't been there I, yet. So I, I can't talk about Skinny Louis. I haven't been there. I would love to get there. I, I, I love to go it. there. I don't care yeah. when he says I love it. Oh, I'm going to ask you later your top. So we, we, we always got to do that for him. Brilliant. And then I found one the other day that was called Bricked. Brick too. Brick, Brick but is, Gabe. Yeah, I haven't Gabe, been there yet, was, yeah. but I heard that it's good. Brick does. Brick Burger does all my my kids' birthday parties. Oh wow! Gabe, it's in, it's it's in Tiago Tacos, same owner. Yeah, same owner. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Like yeah. I would love to go to more Smash Burgers. I just don't have time. You got time? I, I got to grind. I have no time. I would Your love. Your back's to. hurting now too, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, my back is hurting. All right, so, <laughs> Gabe, all right, so I, I need to ask you this: then. what is the difference between a Smash Burger and a regular burger? So a regular eight ounce burger, uh, you could get a temperature right, and you could get a medium, medium well, well done. Smash Burgers is just. All the way well done, but what 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 kind of brings it? What's different about it is that crust on the side. Yeah, got you. Right, um, regular eight ounce burger. You get the crust on the minor effect on top, but you get that nice that thing crust on the side, yeah. and it gets that nice crispy and juiciness. So it's like the the goal, like to make it as thin as possible, or I there's certain people that do it super thin, like paper thin. I'm not a big fan of super thin, but that's the goal. And what's like inside your smash burger? What's the difference between yours or what type of beef are you using? Oh, uh, well, the beef, I can't really tell you what I'm using. Um, good question, but I... But it's not the, even beef. It's... Hey, <laughs> the difference between mine is, like I said, I put lettuce, tomato, pickles, and maduro. Gotcha. Bro, and the chicken sandwich. Phenomenal. Yeah, that's, that's an underrated he, item there. Underrated. Yeah. I mean, I, I think it's amazing. Oh. Like, And the videos, I don't know if you've seen it. Like, We had one. It's Yeah, so so what the difference between my chicken and the rest of a lot of people's chicken is I marinate it for two days, and then I leave it in buttermilk. <laughs> And then there's another trick I go to it, but I can you know you can't release that I, right absolutely, now. Absolutely, yeah. Oh yeah, who came up with the social media way of doing things? Because you can tell it's them doing it. They're not, you know, it's not like this crazy production, but yeah. it's solid, funny shit. It's me. It's you, I huh? Do, I do from A to Z. I Just jumping on I, there, I, yeah, and I was like, you know, that's what social media does. Is it's you know it, that's what runs the world. Yeah, so, like, it's I, funny because you come on there like super raw and like. Authentic, so I'm, man, I'm for it. With the, with the glasses, and with the go. glasses, he didn't bring the glasses. I have, I it. have you had any of like uh, any like local foodies go or show up? Uh, or? Yeah, a couple, yeah, yeah? a couple, yeah. yeah how, do, how does that usually like go? How do you go about that? No, I, you know, they some of them come and they offer the price and stuff like that, and it, you know, it makes sense. Um, I take it if it doesn't, then it doesn't. What about sense. the what about the haters? I know homie's got a little bit of a down, oh, yeah? a little bit of a temper. Yeah, he don't like to be fucked around with. No, um, yeah, the haters. Uh, they, they I've go, told them before, like, yo, don't focus on that they, shit. How do you kind of deal with that, especially when you're out there grinding? I, I really, I, I just stay focused, man. I, I I'm sure. like tunnel vision. I don't care about what anybody else is doing. I'm just trying to get to the main goal. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah, yeah. Good answer. Listen, brother, how long you been out there in that spot? Three years now. Three years. That's yeah. a grind, huh? Yeah, man, super grind. It's it's not it's not for the. You know, the faint of heart, huh? And yeah, who's, on, who's on your team? So it's me. I have uh, my sous chef that's basically Angelo. And the one with the beard. The one with the beard, yes. The beard, yes. Yeah. He's, he's a, he's cool a grinder. That guy's a grinder. Yeah. Um, and then I have uh, one of my friends that helps me Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. She, she's a cashier. What's her name? Viviana. Viviana. Shout out to Viviana. Yep. The money girl. Yep, yep. Okay, right, what is uh, the plan, though? Like, um, you, I know you've been grinding. I know we've talked with friends. What do you... Uh, Thinking for the future, for, you know the, for the future for between two buns is a storefront. That's, that's brick and mortar. Oh, absolutely, man. That's that's on my mind every day. I want candle. Candle. I'm a candle yeah. guy. Candle know, guy, right? 
that makes Absolutely. sense. Yeah, yeah. You know, there's a great spot available right next to the golf course. There's like a little shopping center there. It's like hidden. And I think anything. By Mikasuki? By Mikasuki. And Mili, oh, really? that was the original Mili's and Panas. Oh, there. I know what you're talking oh, about. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I know exactly. Yeah, Mili, I know. Shout out to love a TLC, bro. It's but tiny, though, bro. Cranks, bro. It's, it's, it's available? Yeah. There's nowhere to sit. There's space, no, there's space in that shopping center. There's space available. And that's a very underlooked shopping center. It is. I know. I used to go there all the time. Yeah. They have a quick oh, mark. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna mark that yeah. out. We'll give yeah, you that one down. for free. Yeah, I think that's a good one. I think that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, so the other day, I, I, we actually this is a different uh, approach to having our conversations in office because or in the podcast yeah. because we actually went to your location, you know, and we actually went together, right? Yeah. And apart from uh, you having tremendo hospitality, you know, and, 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 and taking care of us. Uh, and actually, it being good food, where you know, solid. I'm bro. somebody who like. I'm wanting it right now. I'll say everything is good, and then I'll call Kiko after me. Like, damn, you know yeah, what? What do you really it's, think? It's, it's, you know? It always happens. Like you sometimes know? you get phenomenal service, and then the food is like, no. But your food is phenomenal. Your so that's what phenomenal. you want to get, right? Fifty fifty. And I have been dying to eat a smash burger since our conversation. Yeah, bro. You know? So that, that really like it hit like a spot. Um, now with, we take him with, on the next with, journey. With that being said, I had talked to you off uh, off size a little bit, and you're very driven. And and you really want to get to that next level. Like, where does that inspiration come from? Uh, and and how do you continue that fire that you have inside of you? And and you told me word for word, I'm a cage lion right now, and I'm about yeah, to tear bro. it up. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, right now I'm a cage lion. I'm just waiting for that door to open so I can, so I can tear it up. Um, it just comes from from 15 years in the game and just loving what you want to like, love what you like, what you like to do. Basically, you know, I I've loved the kitchen for 15 years, and I think I'm passionate about it. I love the hospitality of it. I love the service. I love everything about it. So, you gotta love it. Yeah, you have there, to love bro. it. Yeah, we went. It was hot as fuck. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah, and, and we're, we're, we're standing shit. up all day. We're standing up oh, all day. Absolutely. Yeah. And and um, you've been 15 years in the kitchen. Prior to between the buns, where did you work, or what's like, what, what type of experience did you have? You got any chef background? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So I ran I ran Finca for a while. Oh wow! Yeah. Know. So shout yeah. out to Eileen. Uh, we I opened tacos and tats. I hope opened tacos and tattoos. Nine years of my first career, um, I did hotel business. Okay. So I did the Marriott, I did the Mandarin Oriental, um, George as well. I, I, I ran uh, Barley. Oh, back in the day. Georgie. Yeah. yeah, Georgie. I didn't know that. Though. Yeah, yeah, back in the day. I didn't even know yeah, so that. I did a couple, th- a couple of things, yeah. you know? Yeah. Yeah. So and, like, and it led me to opening a food truck. Please, open a food truck. So um, I know Apocalypse is your friend, uh, but you see the landscape, hospitality, the food industry has grown a lot. Mm-hmm. In the in the city, yeah. you know, you have restaurants now where Michelin stars, etc. Yeah. What are your like top five places to go to when you're like not working, you're hanging out, like that? You're like these are the spots that I always go to, you know. Ooh, this like, is the clickbait, dog. Yeah, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be I honest. You, one, I'm, shit. Yeah, yeah, he loves it. I'm, listen, I'm gonna be honest. My first one is Flanagan's. Uh, I Flanagan's? Know, yeah, that's, I'm a big fan of Flanagan's. Listen, bro. I don't listen care what anybody says. Right Flanagan's. Now. Is what well, well, has my I agree heart. with you, bro. I bro agree. Yeah. No, 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 no. Now we're getting into it, bro. What do you like at Flanagan's, dog? Man, I don't. Por favor, JP. What do you like at Flanagan's, bro? What don't you I, like? I, bro, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. I like the rib rolls. I like the chicken Philly. Babo, don't listen. Flanagan's, where is that? I didn't, I didn't say any. Bro, like listen. Flanagan's. Flanagan's is wet. It's good. You know why? You don't like Flanagan's? Bueno, bonito, yeah, but, he just, but he just said top place to eat at Flanagan's. Yeah, Baba, because I'm, I'm a, bro, I'm a guy. All right, so that's number one. All right, next, next, uh, give us another. You, uh, finish off today. What else you got on that list? As a Miami guy, bro, <laughs> go ahead, dog. You're on fire so, now. Listen, I got, I got Flanagan's, Apocalypse. Uh, I must go to. If you're I, in the city, I, you have I like to go there. Apocalypse. I like KYU. Oh, okay, well, you okay. now okay. you see? Yeah, yeah, it's a good one. No, the, fire. Yeah, you know, fire uh, for I many years. I don't have time to go out there. Those type of places. Yeah, that's, that's, fine. that's a place that's that fine. you know. Uh, that's street, right? That's street. I got that. Uh, there's a little joint. Um, it's funny. There's a little joint. There's a little Mexican joint inside a convenience store. I can't um, disclose the location. Because oh, then, is it in Homestead? No, it's in Kendall. Because then people are gonna go. I'm not gonna say. I'll tell oh, you some, off air. Okay, oh, okay. There's a little Mexican plot. Really, really good inside a convenience store. I'm talking about. Hands down, really good. He's got to say it, though. Yeah, yeah you got to say that, bro. Yeah. I, 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 I can't. I can't. Well, isn't They're it going to help you? them? Huh? Isn't it going to benefit them? It, it will, but I just don't want everybody to go there. To your detriment? Why? You don't want it to get too full? Think about it. If they were saying about that over your burger. No, it's, it's called Taqueria. It's called Taqueria. Okay. Taqueria. Taqueria. Where is it? Where is it? We'll we'll it, it we'll we'll it it's right by my shop. So if you pull Taqueria, it's going to pull up. All right, we'll figure it out. 100%. I like that. I like that. Okay, okay. okay one more. Uh, tacos and tattoos. Tacos, 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 yes, yeah, yes. Got, I agree. Those are my boys. Solid, bro, because there's not a lot of things in Kendall that are that, that are that are good. But there's two there's two places there that popped up. The KYU, nobody's really uh, uh, mentioned about okay, it. KYU, it's been on tacos, tacos, tattoos. It's been, been good for a while. Here, yeah, it's been. Fun. All right, yeah. now your turn. One, right? <laughs> you give me, and you're in the scene, you say and fans. you have relationship. Huh? You better say fans. With Burger Beast. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna ask him though. I want to know him. 
What are your top burgers or smash burger places right now? What's your top three? Bro, burgers. top three. Hmm. Mm. Damn. Yes. What a question. Good job. Damn. People light him up for this. Damn. <laughs> we can always He's say quick. top three Bro, right now. Are... Top three right now. On the hot seat right here. Choose wisely. Bro, I told you about Skinny Louis. Skinny Louis, you told me, and I haven't been, but that's your number one. It's phenomenal. Uh-huh. That's your number one. You see how you came at me with Flanagan? That's your number no, one. No, you know what? I, I, I know Ted. I okay. just, I've never been out there, bro. Yes, yeah, so I've tried it in events, but I, I and I owe homie a visit. But I know he's got like he's balling right now. But um, uh, I, I like Skinny Louis. I like Birra. La Birra, La boys. Birra. Right down the street from Skinny Louis, the Argentinian me, bro. They got a bunch of different ones, but they're all good. Like they're simple smash. For me, is really good. They they won. I think they, they won, won best burger best in the burger. world. Oh yeah. wow! Yeah, yeah. It's called yeah, birra. Yeah, birra. Wow. La birra boys. La birra burger, obviously. And um, hmm. I don't know, bro. For third. Damn, bro. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't. I, <laughs> you beat it. Come on. Which one? Yeah. Tell me. Uh, a burger, burger. Tell me any burgers that you that, that I don't remember. I've had so many. Shorty's barbecue? No, I haven't had the Shorty's one. I haven't had the Shorty's one. <laughs> had the Shorties one. Um, what about the no? Tell me, tell me. I don't know. I don't know, bro. <laughs> Is there like another burger place you like? Burger place? Yeah, you talking about Smash Burgers? Yeah, Smash Burgers. Skinny Louis. Um, you got Skinny Louis. You got La Birra. La Birra. Damn, I know I had one the other day too. That was good. I just don't remember. <laughs> I gotta come back to that, bro. I, obviously, obviously, between two buns, by that's because he's here and and before he was, we ever met, I knew about his burgers, but I don't know, I couldn't tell you, bro. I like, I like, I like Five Guys. But is that? But 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 Five Guys. But is Five Guys a smash burger? No, it, I, I, it's I, just no. a thin burger patty. But like, like he says, like the real, the only one I really like that thin is, is Skinny Lewis, and I want you to yes. try it all, yeah, because wanna, it is I'm good. Trying, trying. And there's different. You can get the double, the single, or the triple. Like I do. You had all but, three of them. But that, huh? those are the real Yes, I had all three of them, by yeah. the way. And yeah. those are very traditional, yeah. and he really smashed yeah. it. Right? Is that yeah. like Steak and Shake style or no? Huh? It's like Steak and Shake style? Like the way they smash it? or I think even oh. thinner. I think oh. they smash it even thinner. Yeah. Yeah, but like I said, I, I mean, there's other burgers like that. I just, like, thin like that. Like I said, I haven't had Ted, so I can't say Ted's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the Smash Burger community is. is, is I, didn't have, I haven't going, had but, US. No, I, like I haven't that. had US you know, be the one that. Like, if you say regular, if you say oh. regular burgers. I haven't had yeah. that one. Yeah, that's a good one, too. This guy, I this guy that put one. that like it's one of his number um, one, the top one. Uh, there's a no, 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 I don't know. Is it called Babes? Babes. Oh, Babes Counter, bro. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Bay, Jason. That's another one. There you go. That would be top three for sure. I live two blocks from there. Damn, man. But it's not, but he's not, but it's not super thin. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. But it's delicious, bro. And, and I'm all about the char, like like Jay's. Jay's is not it's not too thin, but it's got that char, dog. That's all I want. Yeah, and then it's got that crumble look. Yes. So yeah. you know you're gonna you're having like a mini steak, and, uh, and it's like spilling out of the bun. Absolutely. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, that's the key that you yeah. have to get that crust. If you don't yeah. get that crust, bro, you look that place I went to that was the on Burgers list. Uh, Calma Mayor. Calma Mayor. You told me. I had it the other day. Smash Burger Primo, Iberian Ham, Iberico Ham with Manchego. That's, that's the one that they couldn't have. The one. Yeah, yeah. It's good. Hey, delicious. Okay. Nine point one. I gave it. Wow. So there you go. I like that. Third, right now, go What's try up? that burger. Kaya Mayor on YouTube. It's I'll take you. The guy's name is Abed. On Mondays and when I'm off. Listen, Bro, let's uh, do it. as a chef, right? Do you feel like you have like a palate, like that you can like? Notice what's what type of ingredients you're missing or something like that, or are you kind of just going with a feeling? Well, and are you hesitant to try different things and get into deep water I, where shit you don't know? I don't, too much I don't. About. I'm, no. I'm not picky like that, bro. I, I try everything, and I'm a type of guy like I'll eat it and I try to dissect everything, you know. And well, how'd you get this flavor? Does this match? Sometimes you read a, a item on the menu and you're like, does that? Does that match? Yeah. Does that? Yeah. Does that taste good? You want to order? It. You're like, oh, let me try it. You know. Even so, Jay, how you kind of stack the burger, right? Like to, yeah. meat first, or like the lettuce yeah. first, or so I, I, I'm like. That's that's a good thing that you brought it up. Like you know, a lot of people stack burgers different, right? And yeah. sometimes when you bite into it, the lettuce falls out. Right. The the, the, the tomatoes falls out. Everything uh. falls. Out. So you gotta kind of like organize it. Organize it. What do you want to experience first? Yeah, yeah. So I always try to. Impressive. My opinion to me, all the vegetables on the bottom, and then the heavy things on top. So it holds. So it holds in. You know. Yeah. And, and if you put like a madu, like I said, and also too, if you put the vegetables in the bottom, uh, the grease of the of the bun, it doesn't like, make it soft. And does it does it work? Does it work? This guy, bro. No, this guy's a chef now. This guy, no. No, no, yeah, see? he gave me one, bro. I told him yeah, much. Was I'm breaking it down, boy. You know, like, yeah, so, so I'm yeah, eating, I'm learning from learning. Yeah, absolutely, 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 man. Oh, yeah, and tell me about the queso frito, dog. Not everybody knows what's up with that, dog. Yeah, like, why don't you post more about that? I do, I do. I know I do, it's in the yes. sandwich, but, but that's the Ecuadorian thing. 
No, um, I, I mean, there's a nigga out. That's more Latin America. Yeah, Latin America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Latin That's South America, Latin America. Yeah. With the, with the guayaba. I just, I, like I said, I'm, I'm a Miami boy, so I want to bring that Miami flavors everywhere, right? The guayaba. The queso frito guayaba is, is like a pastelito guayaba queso when you taste it. Right. People love to put it inside the burgers, inside the chicken sandwiches. I make it however you want to do it, but yeah. majority of people, queso frito or guayaba, and they go crazy for it. You've been doing events and stuff like that? Or I, I have, I have. Yeah, you can so stay many, busy with I, that. It has, like I was saying, I was telling somebody over there, I was, it has to make sense. You know, yeah. I'm, I, like, I'm not He's gonna, done my pig rolls. He's one of the vendors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. went there. You know, it has to make yeah. sense to me. Um, I would love to do more. It's just, obviously, too, I'm a little understaffed, and it's hard to do everything by yourselves. Mm. But you're on your way, bro. Why not? Yeah, Overall, what's the final plan for Between Two Buns? Let everybody know where they can find listen. you. What are the times? Tell us everything. All right, so listen, I'm in 120 and 129 by the Firestone Taco Bell. Um, I'm open Tuesday through Sunday. So Tuesday through Saturday, 6.30 to 11. Sunday's 5.30 to uh, 10. And they can DM you if they want. They can DM me, text me, whatever you have. If you, you have my number, up. yeah, I'll show up and I answer all your DMs. Show up and take a picture with my sticker because it's Absolutely. there. With the glasses. <laughs> we should do a drill away, fam. You do whatever you want. You're the boss. You got anything else for Jay? Nah, I think that's it, man. I think I got everything here. That's pretty dope. Between two buns, it's on the Burger Beast's list. It's on my fucking yeah. list now, too. Appreciate Go visit the man and order everything. Thank you, Thank you, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Thanks so much. Appreciate Next it, man. Next time you bring burgers.